Hold on. This demonstration that I'm going to show you is changing out the battery on an Aegis data logger. It's pretty straightforward. What you need to do is, as a tool wise, you need to get yourself an 18 mm socket. The purpose of the 18 mm socket is to remove this retaining nut, hex nut, that holds the PCB assembly inside the data logger enclosure. So what you need to do is remove the retaining nut. You can just use that to loosen it, then do it with the fingers. Then what you do, remove the cap. And to assist to pop out the PCB assembly into the enclosure, just push onto the five-way connector. This will cause it to pop out, and then grab the PCB assembly from the edges and then pull it out carefully. Then you can hold it on on the cushion part. What you do then, it's a bit of a tight fit, so remove the battery and with your new battery you'll notice when you put it back in in the battery holder there's an indication of the positive side and the negative side you'll see on the bottom there will be indicated so that's your positive side and that's your negative side so align the battery polarities with the battery holder terminals and then you'll Put back in. Like I said, a bit of a tight fit. And that's it. That's what you do. Then you'll put it back in into its enclosure. Just keep there's a, there's two ways that this can go in. You can either go in one one way or the other. But however, you'll notice inside the enclosure there's a ridge. Part of the molding of the enclosure. You need to align the bottom of the PCB of the assembly with that ridge. The purpose of this is so that magnetic reed switch on the PCB assembly is aligned with the sticker where it mentions the magnet spot. So this will go in, pull it in and just wiggle it in. Sometimes you do have to align it and it'll pop through. When pushing it in, just push it in on the PCB. Just be mindful, don't push it on the SIM card because this will cause the SIM card to pop out of its holder. And once that's in, get the retaining nut. You can just initially screw it in with your fingers and tighten it with the 18 mm socket. It doesn't have to be overly super tight. So once that's back on, then you just screw your cap back on. And that's it, that's your whole procedure in exchanging a battery on an Aegis data logger.